Lord Buddha, the enlightened one, the light of Asia, the apostle of peace, symbol of compassion and harmony, was born in Lumbini, Nepal. A visit to Lumbini is a dream of every Buddhist and peace-loving people around the world. Lumbini World Peace City Master Vision Plan, recently designed by Coop Environmental Studies and Policy Research Institute, has begun a new era of Lumbini. The new plan is introduced to portray Lumbini as fountain of world peace, as declared by the first World Buddhist Summit in December 1998. Prepared by Kwak Espri in the lead of Professor Kwak Yong Hoon, with financial assistance of Korean International Cooperation Agency Koika, this mega plan has aimed at developing Lumini into a spiritual destination of ultimate peace, solace, and harmony. Venerable Maitri, senior local monk, commands it as. Same Beautifully way, yes. done, India War. We got the greater master plan designing in Nepal, in Lumbini. In the beginning, he came to me and asked about the master plan, and I told him to communicate with the local people first, and how people like, and he did it, and also he did the workshop. And he did not want to evacuate any people from there, and also, according to Buddhism, Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha is mentioned in the plan. It was very nice. The plan is a lotus shaped and is designed being inspired by the philosophical significance of the lotus flower underlining in Buddhist principles and teachings. The Lumini World Peace City plan area will cover 24 km by 24 km, approximately 57,600 hectares. To pursue the heart and spirit of Buddhism, the overall area has been divided into four zones, namely Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, and Upasaka, Upasika, with lush forest area and abundance of greenery. The design incorporates the eight Buddhist paths in theme and concedes to the socio-physical, eco-natural, socio-economic, historic-cultural, visual-aesthetic and mind-spiritual elements in each of the cities. Centrally located in the design, the circular area with the diameter of 1.6 km at present, Sacred Garden is designated as Buddha Jhon. The Jhon symbolizes Great Awakening, Supreme Wisdom and Ultimate Peace. It also ensures protection of aesthetic as well as spiritual value of the holy birthplace of the Buddha. The Dharma Jhon is created right outside of the Buddha Jhon, the largest Dharma well in the world with a 3.2 km diameter and 0.8 km width. World Citizens University, where institutes of Dharma learning and research centers of excellence will be established in the outer rim of Dharma well with 200 m in width. This zone will be fed with salt trees in a natural forest setting, harmonious to Buddha's lifetime for peaceful meditation. Pilgrims can rest in this natural forest before entering the Buddha zone and the sacred garden. The Sangha zone is an oval shaped design laid at 1.6 km outer side of the Dharma zone. Seven new Sanghas are arranged around the Dharma wheel and together with the present Lumini Development Trust Management Area to make perfect lotus flower of eight petals. It is the place for living, learning and practicing Buddhism together in peace and harmony. The zone has diamond-shaped monastery area
in the middle surrounded by a residential area from the outer skirt. The Upasaka Upasika zone is provisioned as the Global Citizens Village located 2.5 miles out of the Sangha zone. 108 eco-villages will form this zone where large number of visitors can be accommodated. The residents will earn their living by catering accommodation services and foods to the visitors according to Nepali philosophy Atiti Devu Bhava Guest Our Gods. Despite the existing luminous development inside three square miles north of the Buddha's birth sanctuary, A's old historic monuments in Lumbini are very fragile and are in three from south, east and west sides by both natural phenomena and human activities like pollution, encroachment and unplanned urbanization and haphazard industrialization taking place outside. This plan comes to develop outer skirt of present Lumini area according to Buddhist philosophy. The plan minutely details each and every component in real living way as Vice Chairman of Lumini Development Trust Karma Sangbo Sherpa says. Because concept he has made is, is uh, kinds of the lotus plan which is uh, very much related with uh, Buddhism uh, and Buddhist philosophy. So uh, if we could uh, implement that plan would be very nice and positive impact for the development of tourism in Lumbini. The Lumbini World Peace City is called as Vishwa Shanti Nagrama in Nepali and it integrates both rural and urban lifestyles to preserve and protect the historical, cultural, religious and ecological treasures of the area embody the principles in practical application of the three treasures of Buddhism, namely Buddha, Dharma and Sangha. Provide a living and learning environmental model conducive to self-enlightenment and to contribute for a harmonious global village civilization and alleviate poverty and improve the quality of life in rural villages in greater Lumbini area. Lumbini Master Vision Plan is an integrated management program that includes details of various plans. For instance, the Road and Transportation Plan, Water Supply, and sewage treatment plan, public facilities, open space and landscape plan, and environmental protection and flood prevention of disasters plan. Lumini PSD Peace and Harmony District, recommended by Quark Esprit extends approximately over an area of 24 km into 24 km. The plan has adopted the land pooling policy, in which no single existing house will be removed from the PSD Peace and Harmony District to ensure benefit and participation of local. Similarly, present Lumini Development Trust plan area will remain untouched but well safeguarded. This plan will respect local property protect their culture and benefit them in many ways. The design respects value of local culture and rights of local residents. This plan has considered local residents as great asset for the success of the project and introduces new urban elements in low density and they will be in complete harmony with existing villages. The plan estimates total budget of approximately 777 million US dollar to implement the project. It has identified major project components as preservation of cultural heritage assets and historical cultural environment management, land use, 
road and transportation, natural environment and ecosystem preservation, public facilities and infrastructure, socio-economic, improvement of the quality of life, disaster prevention, Buddhist cultural pilgrimage promotion, impact assessment on archaeological and cultural heritage assets, and historical environment impact assessment. The Lumbini Master Vision Plan has applied a realistic project philosophy that will bring simplicity in the enactment. The Lumbini Master Vision Plan segments short-term and long-term plans and identifies Nepal's central government, local government, international agencies and private sector as responsible stakeholders for resource management. The plan intends to create a place where spirituality is practiced in harmony and in environmentally sustainable way. The Lumini Master Vision Plan incorporates the concept of immersing global village civilization. It will be one of the eight wonders if enacted promptly as Goodwill Ambassador of Lumini and Consulate General of Greece to Nepal, Bikram Pandey. Works innovative and very uh, creative creation of this PSD is fantastic and is going to be one of the eight wonders of the world. We have seen pyramid and we have seen other wonders of the world. But what he, what the clock has uh, invented and created a peaceful zone city or district in harmony with mother nature, in harmony with Buddha's philosophy of life, is definitely going to be the eighth wonders of the world in terms of tourism, in terms of Buddhist studies and in terms of um, conservation and in terms of ecological harmony with nature, culture and the surrounding living uh, civilization of Kapil Bastu and Lumini. No wonder. The Lumbini Master Vision Plan is a landmark in the history of Lumbini and Buddhism. This is highly philosophical and artistic undertaking done for a noble service to holy birthplace of the Buddha, world peace and humanity. Professor Kwak's Lumbini World Peace City Plan can seize the day and unlock the door of Nepalese economic, cultural and spiritual development and provides unparalleled opportunities to the world if implemented in a full swing.